The first time you join a game of Foxhole, you'll be lost in the woods. Literally. You start the game with only a pistol and a hammer in the center of an expansive world fraught with danger. As a new player, without a friend to guide you, one of the best ways to help your team is by building defenses. Find a salvage field. They'll be marked clearly on your map, which you can find by pressing M on your keyboard, and it'll be the symbol of a screw. Equip the hammer by pressing Tab on your keyboard, and double-click the hammer. This tool will allow you to mine for salvage, which will be deposited in your inventory every time you strike a salvage node. Once you have enough salvage, take it to the factory. On your map, a factory is represented by the symbol of a hammer. Place the salvage inside the factory and press the salvage button. This will give you build materials. Use them to build defenses, walls, and weapons from the armory and workshop. You can begin construction of a building by having the hammer equipped and then pressing B. You can start by building a foxhole, then work your way up to the more complex structures such as a barracks, forward operating base, FOB for short, or town hall. These buildings will serve as a place for you and your teammates to spawn. However, unless you are part of a coalition of players, I would advise against trying to set up your own barracks or FOB. Instead, try building a town hall. Town hall build locations can generally be found in towns and are marked on your map as a grey flag. Simply walk up to the build site, press E, then begin hammering with build materials in your inventory. Already built town halls will appear on your map as a symbol of your faction instead of a flag. The game is won when all town halls are built for your faction. As a newer player, you may not have the ability to create a coalition. Nevertheless, you should know what the purpose of them is in case someone should invite you to one. To create a coalition, press F1 on your keyboard. Click the icon below the coalition column and then press create. If you are unable to create one, it may be because you are in sufficient rank. Once created, you will automatically be assigned a coalition designation, which will appear under the coalition name column. You can now invite people to join. Go back into the F1 menu and click on the icon next to the names of the people you'd like to invite. The role of officer will give added functionality to the player, such as being able to invite others to the coalition or claim and unclaim structures. One of the primary functions of belonging to a coalition is being able to access the coalition barracks, trucks, and FOBs. Although it is not necessary to be a part of the coalition to set your spawn to these structures, only coalition members will be able to access many of the items inside the building's inventories. In order to claim a structure, or truck for your coalition, merely click the Claim for Coalition button. The bigger the structure, the more players your coalition will need to claim it. Try not to use this functionality to hoard weapons for your team. Use it only as a means of protecting your coalition's assets from being expended prematurely. One final benefit of being in a coalition is being able to add map objectives. Officers will be able to create objectives by right-clicking on the map and entering text. This text will be visible to all teammates and can be used to plan attacks, request logistics, or call for help. One of the core principles of this game is that nothing happens without sufficient preparation and coordination. When your team is preparing to attack an enemy fortification, for instance, we can presume there will be a great loss of life. When a soldier dies in Foxhole, they will respawn at the forward operating base, or FOB, and reduce its soldier supply count by one. If a sufficient number of soldiers die, the FOB will run out of soldier supplies, and the attack will fail. This is where supply lines come in. As a newer player, it might interest you to know that even the most veteran players will treat those running logistics with reverence and respect. They are the healers of the game the support class, the kind of person every team needs but few people want to play. To get you started on this path, you will want to construct a truck and fill it with fuel. You can do this by taking building supplies to a truck factory, marked by the symbol of a truck on the map. Mine fuel from fuel depots, just like you would with salvage, and place it in the back of the truck to make it go. Once you have a truck, you'll want to find out what kind of supplies are needed. Ask your team. There are a variety of items that frontline players may require – soldier supplies, weapons, grenades, building materials – all of these things you will likely be able to produce from the safety of your home base. Weapons are produced at the armory, which is marked on your map as the symbol of a rifle. Soldier supplies are produced at the supply station, which is marked on your map as a folded blanket. And less standard issue equipment, like grenades, are produced at the workshop, which is marked on your map as a crossed wrench. Gather what your team needs, put it in your truck, and start those supplies flowing but watch out for enemy raiding parties and mines. An important note about griefing. 
While running your own supply line, try to keep in mind that there are other logis logistics players who all might believe that their current mission is the most urgent. They might be trying to support a beleaguered defense or resupply an empty FOB. It might come to pass that these players may take some of the resources you, yourself, were trying to produce for your own mission. Try to be patient and work as a team. If they have taken a key piece of your delivery, ask them to give it back. If it isn't mission critical to you, let them have it. They may need it more than you. Now that you understand all the effort that goes into supporting the frontline soldiers, you're ready to learn how to join them. As with everything else in Foxhole, preparation and coordination are the key components to being successful on the field of battle. Never, ever venture out on your own. Remember that all that effort you put into getting supplies and equipment to the front line? Well, if your enemy kills you, you're not only wasting all of your effort, but your enemy also gains everything you and your team worked so hard to bring up. Besides, playing as a team in Foxhole is way more fun. Once you have your fire team, gather yourself a weapon. If your front line is well supplied, you'll most likely find weapons and ammo stored inside the FOB. Take one. Don't take more ammo than you need. For most people, even veterans, just two magazines is sufficient. Remember, if you're killed, you don't want to be giving the enemy anything more than they spent to kill you. If no weapons are available at the FOB, you may have to build some at the armory, which is marked as a rifle on your map. Having a weapon and a couple of magazines is usually sufficient to go out and kill some bad guys. Do this for a while until you get comfortable with the basic controls. Then, when you're ready to experiment with some of the more specialized equipment in Foxhole, you can begin by experimenting with things like grenades, mortar, and satchel charges. Avoid landmines. These special items can kill your friends just as surely as they can your enemies. Planting mines without a clear goal in mind more often than not will end up killing friendly players or disrupting friendly supply lines and potentially getting labeled as a griefer and inadvertently kicked from the game. Congratulations, you now have a basic understanding of Foxhole. Now get in the war. <laughs>